2025. Um, I will be installing this clutch. So these are all of your clutch plates. Okay. And these are obviously your springs. Now you can pick up any type of kits. I found a Tusk one for about 50 bucks that just came with all of these parts, just the clutch plates, the metal spacers, and then the springs. This kit I got for about 40 to 50 dollars. These are your plates or spacers. Now with these, make sure because I don't know if it, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there is a flatter edge and a more round edge. Now make sure that you have the flat edge down and the round edge up. These, these spacers, you will not have to soak these in oil. I might a little bit, but probably not. You do have to soak these in oil, definitely. Um, minimum amount of time, I would say, for soaking them in oil is about six to eight hours. You would not want to go any time below that, but the recommended amount is... 12 to 24 hours i will be letting these soak in oil and i will be right back when i'm filling them up and filling up a container i'll be right back when i'm filling up a container with oil and letting these things soak oh yeah one more thing that i forgot to mention about so these ones well this is number one these ones will come slightly pre-oiled and make sure that you go through each and every one of them they might be slightly difficult to separate but make sure you go through all of them and make sure that there is no gunk or anything on them no hair or anything that might be floating around or even dust dust will stick to those no problem you can just see how well these are stuck together and you can even see the oil you can see that when i wipe it away you can just see how oiled these are now i wouldn't recommend wiping these off a lot but just going through, checking them, make sure, making sure that there's no chunks of anything inside of them. Because off camera, I was going through these and I got to about the middle and there was a black chunk of whatever, maybe even like a chunk of oil just sitting on one of the plates. So just to make sure, go through all of these plates. Go through all of these two. And obviously go through every single part that you get. And number two, another thing that I was going to add, this clutch is just a temporary clutch until I will be buying a really nice Hinson, a complete clutch with the basket and everything else. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. I will be buying all sorts of new stuff for my bike, doing a complete rebuild on it. Not a bottom end rebuild, but I will definitely be rebuilding the transmission because I found out that third gear in my transmission, third gear, the gear for third is most likely completely broken because it's not getting any power at all. It's almost like... The clutch is slipping, 
but I know it's not the clutch. We bought a new clutch because this bike is coming up short. Well, not really coming up short, but it's coming up on a new clutch. It's going to need one. Um, this is just a temporary. But yeah, make sure you guys stay tuned for it. I will be making this bike look amazing. And we are back. Um, so yesterday, we ended up getting another dirt bike for my little sister. Forgot what year it was. Um, don't know exactly where the VIN number is. I checked up on the front of the frame. It's not there, but we're having problems with the bike. Changed out the spark plug because the... Uh, the old spark plug was really bad, so we put a brand new one in there. Well, I guess that's, that's not the worst a spark plug could get, but here's the bike. When we bought it, it was running. It ran perfectly fine. I rode it in a circle and whatnot. Guy gave us an extra tire, and what he said is when it's full, about $120 worth of gas, this stuff is... Already pre-mixed with oil, 40 to 1 ratio though. I like to ride 30 to 1, or 32 to 1. Um, but yeah, yesterday also, I believe it was yesterday or the day before that happened. You know, wheelies don't always turn out the best for me. Um, but anyways, so it turns out that transmission is shot well third gear in my transmission is shot but anyways what you guys are all here you see probably not very many of you please excuse the mess <laughs> in my garage but i got a bucket as clean as i could get it and then i've got my clutch these are the friction plates those are the springs and the drive plates are underneath drive plates you won't really need to soak those but definitely the friction plates. Okay, so right now I am unboxing the clutch. Obviously, I've opened it before. These are the friction plates. Um, and then these are the springs. And then here are your drive plates. So, Today, I will be soaking my clutch and then installing it. Well, obviously, I won't be doing that all in one day. I will leave them sit overnight. You guys can use any type of bucket that will f make sure you guys... Make sure that the clutch, the friction plates, oh, sorry, I'm tired today, can't really talk. Make sure that they will all fit in one small bucket. This is a little ice cream pail. Gonna be pouring oil into there now. Don't think I have quite enough. So I will grab my other oil. And I will be right back. It is a slightly different color. But just make sure you get them fully submerged in oil. Now, since I've just recently done a oil change on my bike... I will not be doing an oil change, obviously for the sake being, I don't have any more of my oil. I will be very possibly riding today, but I don't have very much gas at all because I am out of premix oil. Well, I'm not out of premix oil. This is what I run. I like to run this clots stuff this 
Number one, smells the best. Number two, it works really well. Never had a problem with it. Always mix my bikes at 32 to one. We run it for all of the bikes here. Yeah. Once again, excuse the mess. Um, obviously this is my 2000 CR125. Make sure you guys stick around. I will be buying over a thousand dollars worth of new stuff for this bike. Um, with this little Polini, kind of difficult to do this with one hand when it's tipped like this. Um, next day we are back. Um, obviously I need to repack my silencer again, but. I already started a little bit off camera. I got the bike laid down. I got some plastic on the ground. Um, I got the bike laid down because I'm obviously going to try not to drain the oil. Um, but yeah. Let's get started. I just got to find somewhere to put up this stupid camera. Alright, so it looks like I'm just going to be holding this for right now. I wish I could find somewhere to put this up. I did lay plastic on the ground too. There she is. O-ring still feels real nice on that. Um, those look like 10 millimeter bolts. I will be right back when I grab those. Ah oh, yes. Um. How am I going to do this? I'll be right back when I figure this out. the pressure plate with a drive plate and a friction plate stuck to it. Yeah, those pads are going. out of here all right so i got all my clutch plates in i got got all the friction plates and drive plates in. got the pressure plate on i got the springs and the bolts on right now i'm not fully tightened yet but there is a specific order that you want to do with these make sure that some bikes might not all be the same but make sure that you put them back on the order that they went on and with at least for my bike i have a 2000 cr125 um my bike on the drive plates there is a flat end and there is a more smoother end or tapered make sure that, that tapered end is up facing up
Make sure to go in a star pattern on these. So since I'm starting off on this one, I would go this one, this one, this one, this one, that one. So yeah, I will be right back when I get these torqued down. Down, clutch is on. Looks good. Now, time to put the cover on. Oh yeah, I did put a new O-ring on there. I should have say O-ring, rubber gasket. Not sure what you want to call it. I guess I could say O-ring. Put a little bit of grease over it just to keep the stuff down. Um, also, I apologize if clip randomly ends in some spots. Friends trying to call me, just hanging up. Uh, hands are really oily. The eight millimeter on there. This does get tiring after a while. Like, really tiring right up in your forearm and your wrist. And never get one side fully tightened. Always tighten them separately. These are the old uh, friction plates and drive plates. Obviously, you guys can't see the new ones anymore. Um, but yeah, that's how you install clutch on your CR125 and I do realize that I missed a bolt I did drop my phone in the oil I don't know why but that one was a little bit more difficult to get off don't know if it was cross-threaded before or something. This is difficult with your fingers, especially when they're coated in oil. All right, that is your clutch on the 2000 CR125. Make sure you guys like, comment down below what kind of videos you guys want me to do next. What, what maybe do you guys want me to do to this bike? Like what kind of, what kind of build and what kind of style I should go for. Maybe like what type of plastics. I already got a type of plastics picked out in the cart. I've got a Polysport 2018 restyle kit. I've also got a new air box coming because that one's all broken. Just cracked along the side on the other side. But yeah, other than that, and the radiator. 
This bike's pretty much mint. You love it. Using that VP race fuel over there. 114 octane. Beautiful for this bike. But yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.